Uh, hey guys, what's up? Zero Selects here. Uh, sorry about that. I was stretching. Uh, but yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, gonna be doing some more Battle Factory. Just like I said in the previous video, I'm, I'm really liking it. So uh, we'll see what uh, the RNG has in store for us this time around. Um, looks like NU. You know, I <clears throat> all the times that I've play, been playing Battle Factory, uh, I always get NU the most. Uh, I don't understand why. I just don't really like this tier. Uh, but regardless, uh, I see this still looks leading, so I can just go ahead and lead off with uh, Girder over here. Uh, he does decide to lead off with the Steelix, so what I'm going to do is bulk up first. See what he wants to do. He'll probably just like try to set up rocks or something. Uh, and he does. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the thing that happens. And now I'm just going to go for knockoff, just in case he wants to go out into Musharna. I don't really think he'll do that, but... Uh, I mean, even if he says the knockoff would do a decent amount of damage, I can knock off his leftovers. He has fucking flash cannon. Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna drink punch now then. Fucking flash cannon and Steelix. Fucking life orb! What the hell? This is cheer for. <laughs> That's a fucking cheer for Steelix. What the fuck? That's an actual set? That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad I didn't get greedy and start setting up more bulk ups. Otherwise, I would have fucking lost my girder uh, to a cheer for Steelix. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Uh, he's faster than me. So I won't be able to uh, go for the knockoff here. Uh, am I okay with having this thing sleep? No, because it helps me check the... Actually... Hmm. I have to wheeze in for Taurus. Uh, so I'm just going to go for knockoff. Yeah, I knew he would more, more likely sleep powder, but... <clears throat> don't really have that much of a good uh, sleep fodder anyway. So, I'm gonna, just going to take the chance to go out to my wheezing. He might want to stay and go for sleep seed. Uh, there's also the potential of him missing the sleep powder, which would have been great if he did, but... Actually, do I have anything to fear? Yeah. I don't want to take too much damage with this girder. <coughs> yeah, now I'm just going to wisp. Actually, no. Do I wisp? Because I'm pretty sure you just go onto Musharna. Or, uh, yeah, I'm a wisp. The reason why I don't want to wisp is because, of course, Musharna has synchronized, and that will be, you know... Burning my own wheezing, but he actually goes into basculin. So if this thing turns out to be physical, that'll be gr that's that's great. Uh, I suppose we'll find out here. Uh, <clears throat> if he goes for hydro pump, that will probably just kill wheezing. And I don't have a switch in for this, and he just disconnects. Okay. I'm guessing also physical basculin. Either that or he just timed out. I don't know. Uh. So yeah, I'll just cut till either he comes back with a battle land, so I'll see you guys then. Alright, he came back. And he disconnects again. God damn it. Okay, he's back again. Hey, it was physical, okay good. And he has Zen head butt. <coughs> yeah, but it looks like he's finally back, so. Comes to Musharna. If I got the poison on that, that would have been great. So now I'm just gonna run through my Kling Clang uh, and take the chance to see if I could set up or not. I mean, he still has a tantal at full health, which might make make this uh, kind of stupid, especially if he goes for Thunderwave here. He actually, he goes on to his uh, Taurus. All right. Um, I have a massive ground weakness here. God damn it. Uh, I don't really need this. It'd be nice to keep it around so I could win, <laughs> but uh, I don't really need it. So. Yeah, I don't really need Girder either. Uh, I don't want to go straight to Weezing because I know Weezing's going to take a massive hit. So, go to Girder. He goes for the Earthquake. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to stay asleep here because I didn't stay in last time and burn a turn of sleep. Like I should have, but I'm an idiot. So, Man, I should wake up. Not bad. Get that Mach Punch off. That's great. Now I can go into my Weezing. And uh, Sludge Bomb. <laughs> yeah, 
right, we'll see what he wants to do. He's gonna miss the fire blast. He's gonna get sludge bombed, and he dies. Okay. Uh, I mean, he survives with one HP, which is fucking annoying. Uh, and I guess I'll flame first in case he misses the rock climb again. So that that sucks. He misses the fire blast and the rock climb. Uh, the, the, I'm pretty sure the combination of two would have just killed me. Uh, he, yeah, now he's gone for good. So unfortunate, but. Uh, Ubers, god damn it. Alright, this man has a de uh a genocide. Remember when this thing was OU? Fun times, fun times. Regular Deoxys, I feel sorry for you, man. I'm just gonna set up my rocks. We'll probably set up his rocks or like go for superpower or something. Or taught me that works too. Uh I'm guessing this functions the same way as every other Deoxys, uh, or lead Deoxys, I, I guess that's what it's supposed to say. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do here. Oh, I'm just gonna fire blast. Uh, because I do have a defogger, so it's, yeah. This is why suicide leads are not that good anymore. Unless you can actually prevent your opponent from defogging, uh, they're, they're rather useless. Especially with how widespread defog is compared to rapid spin. <clears throat> My taunt wears off. I'm at minus two, so he can literally go into anything he wants and uh, threaten me. Which is going to be the Lugia. Uh, he can't toxic me, so. I'm just gonna set up my rocks here. And, uh. Oh, I, I would, I would say that I'm actually faster than this thing, not bad. Uh, watch this ground. Uh, this thing's at full health, which is actually obnoxious. Uh, I'm just gonna stone it here. Break that multi scale. 16%, that's stupid. Uh, missed the stone edge. Uh, uh, dodged the stone edge, I should say, so that's great. And I'm gonna stone edge again. Now, if I had known it was gonna whirlwind there, I would have definitely uh, gone for toxic. Uh, and there, there, there goes my, my miss. So. I'm gonna snatch. Yeah, yes, in case, he, if he goes for su substitute, I'm gonna take the substitute away from him. And if he goes for toxic, I'm gonna take that toxic away from him and uh, or something like that. No, wait, no, snatch only takes boost. I'm stupid. I'm gonna source stance here. I really wish I had missed that second stone edge, but I guess that's karma for the last battle. Deoxys attack. He's going to more than likely uh, arrow blast here. He's going to kill my Deoxys. Or he's just going to whirlwind. Okay, that works too. Now I'm just going to defog. I know I'm getting rid of my own rocks, but that way he doesn't whirlwind me to hell him back. <laughs> kind of toxic here. Multi scale is virtually, you know, it's broken forever now. So, I toxic the Blaziken. That's cool. Uh, this is a short scarf uh, Xerneas, so I'm gonna go into that right now. And, uh, can I take a Flare Blitz from this thing? From the amount of HP that I'm at? I doubt it, because that, uh, yeah. <coughs> Probably need it. No, I should. Uh, that that uh, Xerneas was actually kind of useless to me because he has the Genesect and an Aegis Slash. So, speaking of Aegis Slash, here comes that fucker. Uh, what the hell do I switch into this thing? Uh, the Alga? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go into the Alga. He has his pursuit, so it's cool. I'm gonna SD here. Cause, uh, he's not gonna stay in either that or he's gonna king shield. So got my plus two. Stonish this thing. And kill it, so Lugia's dead. Uh, 
He can go into his genocide and threaten me with the uh, or not? Okay. I thought he would want to, you know, threaten me with the ice beam, but I guess he doesn't have it. Okay, he got an attack raise, so that's cool. Uh, now I can go into the Alga and, of course, uh, Fire Blast. I guess he's going to be going out into his... Uh... He was going to come with that U-turn if I was actually saying. I just hope he doesn't have a Sacred Sword. 43%? No, he does not. He has Gyro Ball. Okay, so he's... Uh, Gyro Ball, Pursuit, uh, Shadow Ball... I'm guessing Shadow Ball. And King Shield. Okay, he has to have a Ghost Stab. So I'm guessing, he, I'm guessing he doesn't have a Sacred Sword. Not Sacred Sword, uh... Yeah, Sacred Sword. So, yeah, he's gonna forfeit. So I'm guessing he didn't have anything to hit my Dialga with. And, uh... I could have potentially lost that battle too, so... Because <clears throat> I was relying on Fire Blast and Fire Blast on Lance Fire... Uh, eight power points, and that's the potential to miss. So, whatever. Uh, we'll see what what we get stuck with next. All right, here we are in OU game. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, ooh, Talonflame, Togekiss, not bad. Is this special defensive Conkelder, Zygarde, Coil, Subcoil, uh, Pharaoh, and Weavile. Uh, don't know what to lead off with. I'm guessing Pharaoh could be a good lead. Uh, took a Togekiss. But just the thing, that's the thing. I don't know what the hell he's gonna lead off with. Um, so I just lead off with Talonflame and U-turn. Or Bravebird. Now I'm gonna. He's gonna fake out here. Uh, don't want to take all that damage. But then again, I don't really give a fuck. So. Damn, that was a lot. <laughs> oh, he got a fucking crit, are you kidding me? Wait, he's gonna just... He's gonna go into the T-Tar's Skarm, so... And if he doesn't, he's fucking retarded. <laughs> Damn it, that's, that's fucking annoying. I wanted to go into Feral Thorn, but... I don't know, man. Some people are weird and try to make, you know, first-run predictions and... Get fucking destroyed by a, uh... Dude. Uh, I don't see anything that wants to take an Ice Punch except for Skarmory, but Skarmory can go suck a dick. Okay, that's okay. That's... I don't know why you would do that, but he did it. Took 51% off my Conkellers, I mean, I, I guess I guess this is that. But was it worth... Was it worth it losing your fucking uh, Electric Immunity, because now I can Paralyze. I can go for T-Wave and not give a single fuck. And Paralyze your entire team. Dragon Tail here. He actually went. For, he actually went for that. Wow. All right. So I see Toxic. So I'm assuming this is like Sub Punch. But anyways, I'm going to go for the substitute to avoid this uh, the spore, and then so I could uh, Dragon Tail the next turn. I'm not gonna coil. It's actually faster than me. Fuck. God damn it, Sideguard. I'm guessing this is max speed. I did way too much. Then again, I wasn't expecting it to be faster than me. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is especially defensive. If that's the case, I don't want to lose this thing just yet, so I'm going to go to Conk. Uh, yeah, good thing I decided to switch out there. Uh, I'm going to Drain Punch. I did resist his stool stabs. And I'm Assault Vest too, so I can take uh, another Ice Beam. No, I'm fucking Life Orb. Never mind. I can take another ice beam, so long as that wasn't like a roll. I'm fucking life orb. How the did I not see that when I went for the ice punch? Oh, that was obvious. Well played, man. Well played. I'm gonna lose this battle just because I'm playing so recklessly. He's running wisp. Uh, don't know if he's running dual stabs or not. I 
I'm not running terrible on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm gonna set up my rocks again. You can't stop me from doing it. And now that I know that Berloom is a uh, facade, uh, that actually opens up uh, an opportunity for my Ferrothorn to do something with it, or against it. But now I'm getting to proceed to Paraflinch this uh, Skarmory to death, so, and I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> I'm spit deaf. I uh, don't know if this thing's life or not, fuck. But I'm gonna send a wave anyways. Yes, good. This is how many fucks I give. The only thing that worries me is the the medicham. So I gotta keep. I actually gotta keep Talonflame alive for that. Are you running Fire Blast on this thing? I mean, he's running Ice Beam, so I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, be quite a throwback though. I've never seen I haven't seen Tarantar uh Ice Beam with Tarantar in a really long time. So uh <clears throat> I don't know if he's gonna fake out here. Uh, I don't know if Sack and uh Sack and Conk might be a good idea. Uh to get a free switch on to Weavile. But then again I'm not sure Weavile can really do anything to it. Uh oh fuck I gotta get rid of those rocks or those talent from dies. Fuck. Uh would he fake out? High jump kick? What? Alright, so he has that hit, but uh, I'm just gonna sack uh, Zygarde, he's kinda useless. So he has Zen headbutt, uh, fake out, obviously the high jump kick or something like that. Uh, had this been DD Zygarde, uh, that would have been a lot better, obviously, but that's not the case. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I think I lose this many champ if I can't really you know, take it out reliably uh, here. So all right, good. Now I can just protect, get my HP back up a bit. Uh, going for Zen Hepa though. Does he not have a fighting stab, or are you just trying to predict me to play around that? Uh, there goes the Ice Punch. Uh, I don't really want to sack Conk yet. Ah, oh, god damn, it's not fucking critting me. But I killed him with the lead seed, so uh, that's 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 nice. That's very nice. I'm just gonna leech it again against he wants to switch out. I don't know what he wants to do. Good. Either I go into Talonflame or uh Toekiss. I'm gonna have to Toekiss. I don't know if he'll wanna set up Rocks or go for Roost. Alright, yeah, he roosted, good. That's really good. Cause now potentially I can prevent him from uh, setting up rocks again. <clears throat> Not that I actually need talent from at this point, anyways. So what it should have done is actually gone to f into talent flame and gone for blitz because I don't really need uh, that for, for anything else. Uh, got a thunder wave. Uh, it's probably a bad idea sacking my uh, doing that with my tokens. It's potentially very dangerous. 
Uh, should he have like Stone Age or something? But no, yes, Ice Beam, good. Now I can use Roost. So, yeah, set procs. Now I can Air Slash. No, oh, that's actually a stupid idea because he's it's gonna take fucking years to kill him. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to attack Talonflame. Just I know he really doesn't do much for me now. Especially because he has Tyranitar and Skarmory, so he's actually practically useless. Uh, that way I can get a free switch onto Conk. But am I faster than uh, Tyranitar? Oh, I should be faster than him now, actually, now that he's paralyzed, so what the fuck am I doing? I'm gonna sack down for him, get a free switch onto my Conk Elder and go for Drain Punch. Yeah, he does have Stone Age, good. Should get a decent amount of damage. Uh, should, he, I, should he keep his Tyranitar in? Uh, it's gonna be practically all of my, the majority of my HP. Uh, should it be Skarmory, then uh, it should be a decent amount, but he decides to stay in with his Tyranitar, so look at that, 56%, not bad. And then I have the, uh, of course, the Thunder Punch for uh, Skarmory, so I'm not worried. And he actually kills me with that, so that's kind of sad, but uh, it's to be expected. Now, does this thing have Mach Punch? I don't know, but I'm going to have to weave out and uh, going for Ice Punch. If he has Mach Punch, then he kills my Weavile, and I have to rely on Tokus to kill this thing. But uh, he does not, and uh, he dies with a nice punch, and that would be the end of that. So uh, that was that was not not too bad, not too bad at all. It was actually kind of fun. Uh, there are many situations in which I could have just lost the game, but uh, I'm guessing that he either played a played with that Medisham very very weirdly, or he just didn't have Fighting Stab, which is strange because this is Battle Factory. But uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave it on that note. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully with someone else. But yeah, bye!